Engineers. My name is John Campanella. I am the Director of AV Sales and Engineering. I basically look over all of the projects and all of the engineering for all of our projects that we do throughout the entire continent of the United States. Uh, I have a team of four people and we do anything from consulting all the way down to final install and commissioning. My name is John Bulla. I'm the Deputy Director and Chief Operating Officer for the Heard Museum. Uh, I manage about 75% of the staff and that includes uh, our retail operations with the shop, the cafe, um, our books and more, and our coffee cantina. It also includes the entire facility, which is uh, eight acres, 180,000 square feet. Uh, the Herd Museum's uh, been here since 1929, and it's gone through about five generations of changes over the last uh, 94 years. The system actually, the entire exhibit was designed by DLR Group and we work with DLR Group along with the museum and we actually installed three digital signage uh, players, uh, two in the front and one in the back when you, for, when you finally exit. Piece de resistance that we have is the 360 degree fully immersive video and audio experience that takes you through four tribes of the indigenous uh, people. So uh, in the d design, we knew that we had a, uh, a really aspirational goal of creating a 360 degree immersive theater. We knew projection was gonna be what we, what we intended to do. Within that, I, I know that the four projectors that we had uh, uh, spec'd out, uh, Pivium did a great job of sourcing out uh, the projectors and doing exactly what we were wanting to do. What we thought would be a delay of six months uh, with this, actually John stepped up and made uh, this happen uh, within just a few months and, and getting us the projectors on time. Yes, yeah, so the major challenge in this was actually the projection system. Uh, there's four projectors and it's a 360 degree immersive space. And one of the things that we had to do is we had to align the projectors so that they seem together. Uh, there's curved walls, there's angled walls. A part of the show actually has a full 360 degree scene in it, especially with, with horses, so you feel like you're in the middle of the horses. But then on other occasions there are where we have multiple scenes. It may show some birds, it may show some uh, waterfalls. It depends upon you know the, the indigenous tribe that we're showing at that point. This exhibition has been received incredibly well. Um, there's been uh, probably our largest attendance that we've ever had in the last several months since we opened in November. Uh, we're setting records uh, for two straight months. Uh, we had our largest fundraiser to kick this exhibition opening off uh, that we've ever had in the history of the museum. So we're very excited to see the large crowds and to see uh, the people and the response that we're getting from this exhibition installation. I would love people to come and see this. Uh, it's, it's very unique in the way that it was, it was presented. It's not just this area, there's also an upstairs area which has all artifacts. Uh, it's, it's really immersive. If you come in, you can actually see things from these four di indigenous tribes. One of the positive things about this exhibit is it will be ever-changing. So every six to nine months, there will be a new show that will be introduced. We actually just did an update to this for a special event and things like that you know, really are, are pretty cool that you can do that in a space like this that is open to the public. The service from what Pivian was able to provide to us was absolutely first class. Uh, there was a full team effort uh, with David and Garrett and John here spending late nights working on getting the installation refined and fine-tuned uh, to do everything that it's doing today. Uh, it was an incredible team effort and one that I won't forget uh, from a vendor that really stepped up and helped us. One of the projects that we have in the works right now is something very similar to this. It's a public space where people can actually come in and view exhibits as well as in an immersive auditorium style where they can do presentations as well as first run movies. Uh, that project uh, is going to start at the end of this year. Uh, we're also doing a couple of other projects that are kind of immersive. Uh, we're working on what we call our relaxation rooms that is similar to this where you would be able to have someone come in and in, indulge themselves in some sort of uh, immersive experience, whether it be sitting out and looking at the rainforest, sitting on a beach, 
Uh, those are the kind of projects that we see are coming more and more uh, rather than the, the average conference rooms.